What's going on everyone? Corey from Yoda Expedition here. And behind me we have our Forerunner, which we've been doing a build on now for a little bit, making videos for you guys. But I think it's in a good spot where we can do a budget build video. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over a few different things that we already did to the Forerunner and give you a list of things that we think is good for a budget build. All right, so number one is going to be suspension. Now we have a leveling kit in here from Max Track. It's a super budget friendly way to lift the front of your Forerunner so that you can get some bigger tires, aggressive tires in here and um, get it level so that it matches the rear. So this is gonna run you about 150 bucks and it's a super easy install. We have a full installation video on this and um, it's gonna make your Forerunner look a little bit better and you can get some nicer tires on here. All right, moving right along from the suspension, we got our tires here. This is a 265.70 from Yokohama, and these are gonna run you about $300 per tire in this particular size. There's definitely options out there that are cheaper and can save you a little bit more money, but this is what we currently have on our Forerunner. Now this tire in this size um, fits without any suspension modifications. So if you go ahead and install the leveling kit that we have, you're gonna have no issues with this, um, even in an off-road situation where the suspension is um, traveling up and down. Nonetheless, a new set of tires is gonna do you a lot. It's gonna make your forerunner look a lot more aggressive, and it's gonna be a lot more capable in an off-road situation. All right, now moving to the front of the forerunner, we have a few different things here that we upgraded. One being our Yoda Expedition uh, TRD Pro grill, along with the Raptor lights. We have a full installation video on how to do that. And then moving down, we have the front valence. Um, this is a OEM black one from Toyota, but we also did a video where we show you how to remove this on the front and rear and paint your silver one in black. And you can do that for really cheap under 20 bucks. Another upgrade in the front end would be the TRD skid plate. This is an OEM part from Toyota, direct bolt-on fit, and it gives your front end a more aggressive look, a little bit more protection, and it looks really good with the TRD in red. All right, so right here we have our blackout emblem kit along with the ones on the rear. This is gonna be covering the chrome and silver emblems that come on your Forerunner from factory, unless you have the TRD Pro package. So this is a super easy and uh, budget mod and it makes a big difference, especially when paired with the front grille and the blacked out valances. All right, so moving to the interior of the Forerunner, we have the shift knobs here, the black TRD one, and the black transfer case shift knob. These are gonna be replacing your silver ones and they just look a lot cleaner and complements everything else inside the interior that's black. We also have the all weather floor mats here, which are really nice, super easy to clean. Just take them out, pressure wash them and throw them back in. But these are definitely nice to have when you are getting in and out with some dirty shoes. All right, so next we have the Pedal Commander. This is going to make a huge difference when it comes to throttle response with the Forerunner. This is going to hook up directly to your throttle pedal and um, you're going to feel a drastic difference in um, just the way this thing drives. It has a bunch of different settings. You can set it to how you like it, but it's not going to feel so sluggish anymore. It's gonna feel like it actually has some power and it's gonna make it more fun to actually drive the Forerunner. But this is a definite upgrade. We um, love this thing. I have one other thing that I didn't touch base on and that's because we didn't do it yet. And that would be the Viper cut on the front bumper. So essentially you would cut this here up on an angle and it's gonna give your Forerunner a much more aggressive look in the front. Gonna give you more clearance if you do have bigger tires and it's free. So um, it goes along really well with the DIY valences if you go ahead and paint those black. So that's gonna be our budget friendly Forerunner build video. I touched base on some off-road capability stuff, performance stuff and aesthetic stuff. I think all of the things that I listed together 
um, make for a really nice budget 4Runner and it's going to run you around 2500 maybe less, maybe more, depending on the parts that you go with. But everything that I did list, we have on yodaexpedition.com and we also have install videos and review videos for pretty much everything as well. I'll put all of the links down in the description, but it's starting to rain. I got to get inside. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.